got these. Yep, yep. So I think these are a missing opportunity for you. These are um, on fire right now. These creams are so smooth. Yeah, they're moonshine creams. Um, why don't we just start pouring them and then you guys? Can yeah. Have, yeah, I just want to, like you to tell me what kind of products you got. Uh, sure. You guys have like yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll lower the volume here a little okay. bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, Right, so like because you guys have different lines. That's whiskey, right? All of them whiskey. Yeah, these are whiskey. And this is the. Yeah, so we uh, so we have core moonshines, right? Okay. Which would be like apple pie, hunch punch, white lightning, uh, yeah. blackberry. Those are like our, our brands that we've had forever. We came out with uh, some creams recently, mm -hmm. uh, and moonshine creams are, are like lighting on fire right now. They're they're driving all the business for us. We've got those fruits in the jar that you guys have, like cherries, peaches, pineapple, and pickles, your favorite, <laughs> yeah. right? And those are those are called infusions, and those are just like fruit that's infused with the moonshine. And then we have some flavored whiskeys. Okay. And our flavored whiskeys, like their flavor profiles are like, they all pop, all of them. Uh, salty caramel is our number one skew in the company. Uh, and like other companies have like a, like a salty caramel, but they, they're always like out of stock. Ours is consistent, we have it all year. You guys, where is this made from? What, what so this state? is, it's from Tennessee. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're Tennessee. You guys have your own distillery and farms like that? We have, outsourced? yeah, we have multiple distilleries. Uh, we're actually the number one visited distillery in the world. So we've got three distilleries uh, in Tennessee. One of them is right, uh, if you've ever been up there, the Rocky Mountains are like the number one uh, Tourist attraction. Tourist attraction, yeah. right, right. Everyone goes to right the Rocky there. Mountains. And so we're, we're, we have a distillery right where you got to go up the hill to go to the Rocky Mountains. So we get all the traffic going up and all the traffic oh, going down. Nice. Right? And what we do differently from everybody is when we come out with a new flavor, we test it in all the distilleries, right? So we get people who try it and try it and we survey them, we pull them. Hey, did you like it? Did you did not like it. So before we come out to market with a new flavor, we already know that people like it. Yeah. yeah. So, so whenever we come up with a flavor, automatically it you does try well. it on the distillery visitors first. All then. the distillery visitors. Yeah. All right. So we got a distillery there, and we got one in Nashville, and then we got another one in. It's called Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And and we are the the first licensed um, moonshine company um, out of Tennessee. There's a couple more now, but we were the first ones. Nice. Yeah. All right. Let's try them out. I okay. can't wait. All right. Those look good. All right. So this one here is the banana pudding. You just pour it like that. It doesn't have a uh, uh, banana in it. <laughs> it it's it's uh, moonshine with banana pudding flavor. Nice. Um, yeah. Cheers. It smells like just um, dessert. Dessert, right? Mm -hmm. You just put it on ice. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. You can use it in your protein shake. <laughs> you know what? I, I actually oh, pre gym booster. <laughs> I actually baked um, banana bread with it. Ooh. And it was like it was out of control. Good. Yeah. Baked so banana good. bread. Nice. Yeah, yeah, all right. Good. Let's try the second one. This is really good. Okay. So this one here is a new flavor, white chocolate strawberry. Perfect right. for Valentine's Day. Awesome. All right. Perfect for Valentine's Day. You guys have these in big jars too, or just yeah, we like do. Uh, we okay. do. I just can't carry. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need more than a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't right. carry. I can't carry all of them. With Cheers. Them. Yep. They all smell like candy, like you're smelling the actual candy. Mm. And this is um, like 17.5 proof alcohol. Oh, 17, 17 proof 5. or 17 percent. 17 percent 35 proof yeah 35 there you go. for everybody who's there 35 proof 35 proof. <laughs> butter pecan we could probably um use the same yeah why don't we use the same yeah i'll use my same cup yeah it's okay. <laughs> Boo. Boo. So this is butter pecan this was our number one cream until banana pudding took it over last year i believe it butter pecan okay. butter pecan you need to shake it before you pour uh yeah, I would. It seems like uh, I would. It has. I would, yeah, especially because it's cream. It could yeah, settle at the bottom, nice so I shake it. Yeah. I put this one in my Starbucks. <sighs> yeah, <I'm clears> everything <throat> that has like kind of chocolate flavor in it, like this one, it has a little bit of chocolate, I guess. Yeah, mm. yeah I just love chocolate. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna <clears throat> open this one. Yeah, that's the Mountain mm. Java. So that one, that one is the perfect oh. thing you want to put in your Starbucks. 
Boom. What up? All right. Try the last cream here. Cheers. That's right. Yeah, coffee? I put that one in my coffee too. <laughs> <laughs> they all can go in, in, in all something, you know? Mm. If not your coffee, your milkshake, your banana bread. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tasty, mm. huh? Like, you really know, good. I mean, if you got customers that are looking for sweet, something different, they just sip on that, you know? Yeah, yeah. It. We're gonna have like a uh, um, pretty much uh, bar section right there or party section, so all these are gonna be over there. Okay. Just you put that for mountain the Java in a vanilla milkshake. <laughs> you, there's there's some really cool shots so like you can do so this is our peanut butter whiskey we'll try this one yeah. but you could do like peanut butter Thanks and banana me. you can mix them it's like a kind of like an elvis shot peanut butter and banana you could do uh, you mix it with with this yeah you could just do like one ounce of each yeah you could do peanut butter <laughs> in um like one of these ones the the butter pecan and yeah. it comes out like a those peanut butter Reese's candies. Nice. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. 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 I usually mix my Irish cream with some scotch to make it like a bit stronger, so I can see those getting mixed with all type of uh, uh, whiskey, especially, yeah. and tasting really good. All right, let's um, pour some of the let's do uh, whiskey. Yeah, let's do the salty caramel. All right, she's not gonna drink anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Going, so I'm like, I have to stop now. Right, I'm kind of the same way. Huh? Okay, so this one we're tasting right now is the salted caramel? Yeah, salty this is our caramel. salty caramel. This is our number one skew in the company. Okay. Um, it's it's uh, just flavored whiskey and yeah, you'll... Cheers. Yeah. Okay. You can shoot it straight, you can drink it straight on the rocks. Yeah. We do have some cocktails you can mix it with. Like I said, you can put it with one of the creams and make like a cool combination. I like it when the flavor tastes like kind of normal, not so um, uh, sugary. Mm -hmm. And this, this does it perfectly. And this is what is different about our peanut butter. So there's a lot of peanut butter uh, whiskeys in the market. Yeah. But from what I understand, and I haven't tasted them all, this one here, is exactly like you're saying. It's uh, it's got the peanut butter taste, but it's not super sweet. It's not really, really overpowering. Sweet. Yeah. This is our peanut butter whiskey. Cheers. Yeah. Smell it smells straight like peanut butter. Like peanut butter. <laughs> no <milk>. whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we there's like you said, there's a bunch of uh, peanut butter whiskey. We only carry the screwball because mm -hmm. I tried a bunch of them. And screwball tastes like you know not that sweet feel like infused right this here you can taste more peanut butter for sure right it's like you can taste it even like kind of roasted you but know not sweet but not sweet right yeah so, so there's there's like some of the complaints is like it's too sweet the peanut butter but this one yeah it tastes like roasted peanuts and then you can have a little bit of burn from the whiskey at the end yeah right? no this is um yeah more like peanut butter than a whiskey and compared like to screwball yeah yeah all right um and then we got some cool flavors so oh. salty watermelon and mango habanero and these <laughs> these taste these taste like uh like mexican candy shots oh, right? okay so like you know real popular right now in the bars is a mexican candy shot right you put some tahini on it right with watermelon this one right here is just perfect all you gotta do is just pour it and put some tahini on it oh, yeah shit. yeah i mean i was surprised i didn't expect like you know we get, we're getting watermelon and mango for the next two flavors <laughs> I thought it's always, it's always like, you know, those type of warm flavors like caramel, peanut butter, but you don't see like fruity whiskey. Did you want to try the, yep. the watermelon? I heard Mexican candy yeah. shot. Uh, I think I have shots right here. <laughs> Boom. <clears throat> All right, where's my cup? <laughs> it's crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. dangerous. It's good, uh, That's dangerous. It's That's dangerous. Yeah, this is taking the whiskey to to like another level. You know, like you have all the type of flavored vodka. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is kind of taking it to that. If I didn't know it was a whiskey, and you gave it to me, I wouldn't have believed you it was a whiskey. Yeah, yeah. imagine putting it on ice, like rimming it with tahini, and maybe like uh, you know. 
little little bit of lime in that there. That sounds or something. so yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's super it's, good. It's, yeah, you just need some like cream on it, and that's good. All right, and then the last one I got for you um, okay. is a mango habanero. Where did I put all these on here? Mango habanero. Yeah. Is that is that gonna be spicy? So you're gonna taste the mango up front. You're gonna get a little bit of heat in the back, but it's. It scares people because it says habanero, but it's not. It's not that spicy. But it, it's like uh, if you went to a, if you went to like a Mexican where they would serve fruit and they cut the mango and they put tahini and lime on top, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can see like that. Is it spicy? That the uh, you know that mango yeah. Mexican candy that yes. come like kind of dipped in, yes. in tahini. You can throw one in it. Exactly. With like some ice and yeah. rim, um, tahini uh, rim. Mm -hmm. This is... And just like this, no mix, no nothing. Just put it right in there with, with a candy and like... A Ooh, really spicy. I mean, you feel the heat and I like that because uh, sometimes I order like spicy margarita. Yeah. But you don't, it does, it's not really spicy, you know? It doesn't hit you. And that's funny because that's that's Ooh, that's what... This is hot already. <laughs> and, that's what, and that's what they, they, they do like at the, at the bars, they'll do a spicy margarita with these. They do yeah. a spicy margarita with the mango habanero or with the salt. They do spicy margarita with the margarita with the, with the whiskey? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're right on, man. You know All right. Stuff. All right. Thank you so much. Um, you guys let us know which one would be your favorite. Thank you. <laughs> All of them. All of them. <laughs> we'll be getting those in stock soon.